Happy Sabbath dear viewer. It's another Sabbath again that you're meeting. It's me, your host Wilson Odiambo, and together with me is uh, Lamek. I'm glad to be joining us here this morning. Uh-huh. Karibu sana all our dear viewers. Uh-huh. Uh, let's have a meaningful engagement. Okay, how has your week been? It has been great. I thank the Lord. Mm-hmm. And I'm more excited that we are starting today worship that never ends. Amen. amen. Yeah. Claire, yeah, welcome. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Happy Sabbath, dear viewer. Mm-hmm. We thank you for joining us this uh, Sabbath. Welcome. So we are going to pray before we start. So Lamek. Uh, let's believe and pray. Mm-hmm. Most gracious Father and God in heaven, we thank you for the gift of the Sabbath. Thank you for the gift of this morning and for the gift of one another. We are grateful for the privilege that you have uh, bestowed upon us that we should be called your children and that you sent your only begotten son that you can have a chance a second chance at your kingdom. As we study this precious lesson that is with us here, we ask that your abiding presence may dwell with us and send your spirit to go before us in this study, illuminate your word and open our minds to understanding. It's our prayer of faith make it our experience in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. amen, amen. <clears throat> Now we are going straight to the study of the week. Worship mm-hmm. that never ends. Amen. Mm-hmm. Worship that never ends. Our memory text comes from the book of Psalms 104 verse 33 which says I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my my being. Worship that never ends. Amen. Because last week we we, we learned about longing for Zion mm. and there were some aspects of worship. Now we want to study about what is this worship that never ends and why is it? You know something that never ends is something that is everlasting. Mm. And you know the response of of the creature to the creator is worship. Mm. Mm. And uh, the greatest you know you know our experience of, of God's grace and power increases when we worship him. Because in Psalms 116 verse 12 says, What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? Uh-huh. Which means the, the individ- the, the, it is a reply to devote one life to being faithful to God. Mm-hmm. And also in this lesson we are going to get something, sometimes the great assembly, uh, the great assembly, the, the, the assembly of the upright, mm-hmm. knowing God and being known by God. Mm-hmm. So, Lamek, what is this great assembly that is being speak, spoken about here? Uh, well, first, uh, just upon reflection on the key text, uh, uh-huh. there is a quote here that I like to drop in even as we start uh-huh, uh, today's lesson mm. uh, from a devotional that I really like, mm. You Shall Receive Power. I read it uh, some time back. It has, it has stuck with me mm. ever since. Mm. Um, Worship that ev- never ends. It says, mm. uh, this is page 67, paragraph 2. Let me start with the the, the key text hmm. of this devotional. Hmm. That but the path of the just is as the shining light Amen. that shineth more and more hmm. unto the perfect day. Mm-hmm. And now to explain the the verse, um, the message of the Lord says hmm. that there is no halfway house where we may throw off responsibility and rest. By the way, hmm. we are to keep advancing heavenward, hmm. developing a solid religious character. Mm-hmm. And so this great assembly that we see mm-hmm. I think the best uh, the best uh, the best part is for the if we we reflect upon the 144000 amen amen we see that they have a unique song there was no discord mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know here we have the choir sometimes <laughs> you can claim to be spe- singing singing tenor uh-huh. uh, but but you will and we expect four voices to come mm-hmm. and it should blend into a harmonious sound mm-hmm. we, uh, using the notes mm. of the adventist team note mm. but you usually hear a lot of discord mm-hmm. and but but we 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 are we are reading mm. uh, that that the 144000 had no guile mm. in their mouth was found no guile mm-hmm. that they were singing um harmoniously mm. and this is a manifestation of just what we read in the three angels message mm. that um he has the patience of the saints yeah mm-hmm. they who keep the commandment of god, of god. Mm-hmm. And if you see um, that the, the command of the first angel is that mm-hmm. fear God mm-hmm. and give, give him, him glory. glory. Mm-hmm. Solomon in Ecclesiastes says, fear God and keep his commandments. Mm-hmm. And therefore, giving God glory is mm-hmm. keeping his commandments. Mm-hmm. And so when we are a, a great assembly, mm-hmm. it means that we are coming together, we are united, mm-hmm. working together, mm-hmm. following Christ together mm-hmm. until we reach that perfection that is in Christ. Mm-hmm. And it is... our our goal is to be 
to be as the 144,000 to be harmonious mm-hmm. to glorify God in unity to keep the commandments in unity mm-hmm. to have no sense of discord but to run the race together mm-hmm. until that perfect day yeah yeah mm-hmm. man brother they they are harmonious communion amen yeah but, and, and again if you read Psalms 111 Mm-hmm. Verse one says, "Praise the Lord! I will exalt the Lord with all my heart, in the council of the upright and in the assembly." Mm-hmm. Claire, what what about this? The council of the upright. What about it? The council of the upright. Uh-huh. People who are in harmony with God. Mm-hmm. People who keep the commandments of God. Mm-hmm. People who fear the Lord and acknowledge and know who He is in their lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people who are in a daily reflection with their master mm. people who keep their character in check mm-hmm. as according to what requ- what is required of them or what god requires of them mm-hmm. people who depend on god mm. whose souls are whose hearts rather mm. are fixed upon jesus mm-hmm. whose mm-hmm. souls depend on him to be watered by him mm-hmm. the upright people mm-hmm. people who fear the lord Yeah, man, yeah. Man, yeah, people man. fear the Lord mm. because in the lesson it's written that the worshiping community community is also called the assembly of the upright. Mm. Mm. That is Psalms 111 verse 1 and it continues says the upright know God. Mm-hmm. They know God and the score know God mm-hmm. and are known by God. Mm-hmm. And this experience permeates every aspect of their of their experience. Mm. So in this week you are going to study about uh, the great assembly the assembly of the upright knowing mm. god and being known by god mm. yeah so lift up your hands in the sanctuary mm. psalms 134 with the, so, the it's it's the the psalm of the ancient and the, psalms 134 recalls the aaronic priestly blessings in numbers 624 mm. verse 26 mm. i know you you remember it it's a, it's mm. a good it's a good yeah. it's a good it's a good uh, verse mm. and i i like blessings is there and the, and the underlying principle and the outcome of the relationship between God and Israel the people bless God in the sanctuary and God blesses his people from Zion you remember last week you we spoke about Zion mm-hmm. yeah. yeah and the blessing extends just a day in your uh, just a day a day is better than a thousand amen well. mm-hmm. amen mm-hmm. brother and extends to all of life because the Lord is is the creator of heaven and earth The mention of Zion as the place of divine special blessings underlines the Lord's con- con- conventional bond with his people. Mm. So there comes my question. Mm-hmm. Where is God worshiped? And what is the the outcome of wo- of, watch- of, of the of the worship which is done because from the lesson again we, we last week we mentioned something about Zion, mm-hmm. you know. And and the, what is the what is the bible take on the notion that i can worship from where i am because you know psalms 34 bring something about worship mm. uh, and communal worship you have spoken about the communal worship so where is god worshiped and what is the outcome of worshiping god and now what's the take of the notion of that i can worship from where i am i can worship from my house you know mm. yeah, I, I, you know you you hard such mm. mostly from the young people <laughs> it's, yes. it's something that uh, especially with the with the online church yeah, now. online church yeah, now, you right? just wake up and yeah, uh, yeah. you just go to church on your laptop and then your laptop and you have no other reason yeah. but just just choosing to to be at home yeah yeah choosing to be at home you know mm. people <laughs> after covid yeah. people realize that ah, we can sit back in the house we can worship from where we are mm. and it's it's been difficult getting that notion out of people mm. but it's important for people to realize mm-hmm. what uh, congregational worship how important it is mm. and um i mean we come to church so that we are also a blessing mm-hmm. in as much as we seek the blessings that come from god mm. because uh here uh God speaks a blessing mm. for his servants mm. those who serve him in the church there's a blessing that mm. he gives unto them mm-hmm. but uh, also for us when we come to church we when we become servants of God mm-hmm. we are to become a blessing to others so that we get that blessing mm. we first have to be servants of him mm. we have to go and proclaim his name so that we yeah we have to be a blessing first mm-hmm. that's the point so mm. that we get blessed mm. because even these uh the levites They served God. They were servants of God. They stood at the gates. Mm. Yeah, they were servants of God. They worshiped him, they served him. And in return what did God say? Mm. That the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. They were ble- great blessings 
pronounced mm. to them. Mm. So congregational worship is important mm. because we not only receive blessing, but we become a mm. blessing to others. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so, so we get to know that the congregation of blessings is done in the sanctuary. Because Psalms 150 verse mm. 1 says, Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Uh-huh. And again, we, we we come to learn that uh, the co- co- congregational worship is a, is a, is a good a big aspect that we should embrace because it comes uh, with blessings, as my sister Claire said. Yes, Um It's interesting. Mm. There is a statement that you that that, that has, was mentioned by the le- lesson writer. You have repeated it uh-huh. as you were doing the introduction uh-huh. uh, that God's people are known by God. Mm-hmm. And they also know mm-hmm. God. No, they, God. Also, um, they also they know, know God, God. Yeah, man, at, yeah. at an individual level and also as a community mm-hmm. or as an assembly of uh, the upright. Mm-hmm. Um, and what we are very sure about mm-hmm. is that God knows us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen, amen. What we work on mm-hmm. is our relationship with God. Mm-hmm. In fact, um, uh, Adventist Tom says that... Uh, True love as an intellectual basis. Mm-hmm. You know, the world says that love is blind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, Adventist Tom says that love has to have an intellectual basis. Amen. And therefore, you cannot, um, um, now speaking to, to those who do not believe in God, mm-hmm. you cannot really reject mm-hmm. somebody who you don't know. Mm-hmm. We love God because we, we know him. Mm-hmm. We know who he has been mm-hmm. in our own lives. And God um, has always had a sign of his presence with his people. Mm. We see uh, the Israelites, they, they had a, a pillar of fire in the evening in a cloud in the uh-huh. day. Uh, and, and we see them in the wilderness, they built a, a sanctuary. Mm-hmm. So uh, the sanctuary is mm-hmm. supposed to be a manifestation of God's glory here on earth. Mm-hmm. And so we are supposed to, um, and countless times, mm-hmm. King Solomon was commanded, mm-hmm. uh, we see it even today, uh, that the Lord wants a place to dwell. Mm-hmm. My house shall be called a house of prayer. It is written in Second Chronicles. Mm-hmm. And so, when we come to the Lord, mm-hmm. um, the Lord comes down. Mm-hmm. You remember when Moses was on the mountain, mm-hmm. the Lord Himself descended, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. and He spoke to the to the Israelites. Yeah. He brought the commandments. Mm-hmm. And so, when we gather together, when mm-hmm. we gather together as a congregation, first of all, I think. Um, we are all different, Mm -hmm. having a different uh, kind of relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Uh, There is this story that that is told Mm -hmm. um, of a a man who received a personal setback Mm -hmm. and started, uh, uh, you know, didn't come to church most of the time. No, it was not actually church. It was a a friendship club. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, one of these, the leader of that group went and saw him and and, and he, he, he actually found him. It was dramatic. Mm-hmm. He found him uh, watching some firewood uh, getting burned. Mm-hmm. And then uh, he was just quiet there, depressed in his thoughts. And then this leader gets one firewood, mm-hmm. puts it aside. He didn't say a word. Mm-hmm. And then that firewood started. Of course, growing what deep. will happen? It starts growing dim. Mm-hmm. It starts growing dim until it goes off. It becomes smoke. Mm-hmm. And then he went, and then he walked out of his house mm. um, and went away. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, the lesson that he was passing across mm. is that in your depressed state or in your struggle with sin, mm-hmm. uh, we see Adam uh, running away from God, mm-hmm. and uh, and God asks him, "Where are you, Adam?" Mm-hmm. You know, most of the time, the first instinct with sin mm-hmm. is that you run away. Mm-hmm. You want to hide. You want to withdraw. Mm-hmm. You want to stay on your own. Mm-hmm. Um, you 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 don't feel like you will be accepted in church. Mm-hmm. You feel like you'll be judged. Mm-hmm. But the Lord is saying that my house will be called a house of prayer. My house is this is my dwelling place. Mm-hmm. When you are coming to church, you are not coming to to see so and so. You are not coming to Lamech, mm-hmm. but you are coming to the very presence of God. Mm-hmm. And so when we come together, mm-hmm. um, like that that parable of the firewood. Mm-hmm. When we work together, we 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 contribute to each other's flame, mm-hmm. and that continues to to lighten up mm-hmm. uh, the common the common faith that we share. Mm-hmm. And so we cannot we cannot really we cannot understate mm-hmm. the importance of congregational prayer. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. 
because you, you know the Israelites went to the sanctuary to worship mm. and to thank God for all the good things he has done to them. Mm. You know, Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new song. Psalms uh, 33 verse 3 says, uh, Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully and shout a joy. And also Psalms 149 verse 1 sing, says, Sing to the Lord a new song and worship him in the assembly of saints. So what is this new song that uh, uh, the, 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 the psalmist is speaking about? Sing to him a new song. Mm. Uh-huh. You know new? Mm. When we define new mm-hmm. as a noun, it's something that hasn't perhaps not been there before. Uh-huh. Yeah, something totally, completely, I mean, appearing for the first time. Mm-hmm. Something maybe a new rec- a new creation, mm-hmm. yeah. A new so, experience. A new experience, uh-huh. yes. So w- when you read uh, through, you'll find that new can be a new song, a new experience with God. Mm-hmm. And now, therefore, you're bringing a new song to him as according to the experience that you've had. Another new can be a refreshment, yeah. Mm-hmm. You have experienced the uh what god has done to you and now you are recreating that song mm. you're re-singing it out of a new uh experience not a, a really new experience but what you have been through and now you can re-sing that song again mm-hmm. from a different perspective mm. so we, we we are called uh the israelites were called to sing a new song and through and through you can see uh the psalmist asking them sing a new song or Israel, sing a new song to the Lord your God. Mm-hmm. Because truly, what God does for you over and over again, He deserves a new song, mm-hmm. new praise. You you experience, I mean, a heart or a soul. You know, the Israelites, they could afford to sing a new song to God every new and then because of the things they had gone through. When they were, pilg- when, uh, they were on pilgrimage, mm-hmm. when they were passing, uh, they were children of conquest, let me say, mm-hmm. warfare. But God delivered them from the hands of the enemies. Mm. Throughout this, they could afford a new song. Mm-hmm. When they get to pass through and God could provide for them what they needed, their needs, and they could conquer new lands, God was good to them. And then they could afford mm. to sing a new song. So even us today, mm. can't we afford a new song to sing to God? Mm. Hasn't God done anything good to our lives daily and daily? Yeah? Mm. New masses each morning we say to the Lord, mm-hmm. really, the Lord deserves a new song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Lord deserves a new song. Before, before Lamech says something about that, you know, the, the plaster is, is, is being portrayed as a sacred hymn of worship and for worship. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Well Amen. Done, okay. Amen. Um, I think there is something with music. Mm-hmm. You see the birds sing in the morning yeah. mm-hmm. yeah, to mark a new day. Mm-hmm. They they rarely sing in the evening, <laughs> but they're very clear in the morning. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there is a lot of energy in the air. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, and 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 you just love it. You just want to 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 wake up in the morning and just hear the birds sing. Mm-hmm. Uh, even even the rivers, mm-hmm. it's loudest in the morning. Mm-hmm. There is something heavenly mm-hmm. about music. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is something about music. Um, when you don't wa- you don't have any other way to express yourself mm. you see like in independence most o- almost all countries mm-hmm. they have an anthem to mark independence mm-hmm. like kenya we have we have an anthem mm-hmm. oh god of all creation you mm-hmm. know we have an entire song mm-hmm. three stanzas mm-hmm. and it's sung across board mm-hmm. you know just to mark to 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 proudly say that 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 we are we are a nation mm-hmm. that we have independence yeah, and that it marked a new beginning it marked a new beginning mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so i think this is what now the um the term new mm-hmm. uh, that that will no longer um i, I just think about david mm-hmm. uh david was mourning he was mm-hmm. living with sackcloth yeah yeah and 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 he was crying to the lord mm-hmm. he had he had, green, uh, he had done a great mm-hmm. a great sin against the mm-hmm. lord mm-hmm. Um, and Bathsheba was expecting a child. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, um, uh, in fact, I think the child that had been born mm-hmm. was now sickly. Mm-hmm. Um, um, uh, and he was, he was weeping mm-hmm. and crying. And then he was, the news came to him there, the child is dead. What does David respond by saying? Mm-hmm. 
he st- he says now give me food to eat i will no longer fast mm-hmm. he he uh, changed my raiment i will no longer wear sackcloth and his servants were wondering david was singing a new song mm-hmm. he was saying that now the child is dead why should i continue singing mm-hmm. the song of a burial mm-hmm. while now i have another ch- i have another chance mm-hmm. yeah to make to make adjustments mm-hmm. uh why should i continue singing the song of planting season when it's now the harvest time mm-hmm. why should we sing the song of sin and crying that uh, we have we we you know uh, I, i'm lost in adam uh, there is a quote uh, written in sons and daughters of god page 120 mm-hmm. he says that blessed are the guilty mm-hmm. blessed is he who can say in his heart that i have uh, i am lost in adam mm-hmm. i have transgressed the law mm-hmm. but i am found in christ mm-hmm. and so this new song that we that we, that we that we have in our hearts is a commemoration it's an acknowledgement that yes we are, in our creation we are sinners mm. but now we have this salvation mm. and there is there is a hymn that i really love that says that holy holy is what the angels sing mm. amen they cannot join in that song mm-hmm. because angels do not understand mm-hmm. they cannot sing that song they are still singing the songs that they have been singing from the beginning of the world mm-hmm. the angels have never changed their tune mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but in the song that as the cre- creations of god This song has had a discord mm-hmm. or it has had a space in time mm-hmm. when we were not singing very well mm-hmm. uh, and in the ears of the of, of heaven it was tears mm. it was death Amen. it was cancer mm-hmm. it was war mm-hmm. it was rumors of war mm. it was suffering all kinds of things mm. but now there is something that was introduced by Christ Amen. Amen. there is a new note Uh-huh. There is a new note that has been introduced in that song uh-huh. and that is the new song that uh-huh. we are talking about. Uh-huh. And so there is this shout that comes uh-huh. when you have just received Christ. Uh-huh. You, you remember the the, the 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 lesson right actually says that uh, that that it is personal. Uh-huh. It is personal. It will come as as harmonious as a community uh-huh. but it is a personal experience that you don't have words to say you uh-huh. you can only sing. Uh-huh. You can only sing. Yeah yeah mm-hmm. man brother man man revelation 5:9 says and they sang a new song saying mm-hmm. you're worthy to open the scroll and to open its seals and with your blood you you purchased for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation so the, a new song a new song is is just a new expression for each day for God's love and appreciation of what God has done so mm-hmm. my question today and to our dear viewers is, uh, is if you are to sing a new song what will it be yeah lord who may abide in your tabernacle there comes a question who may abide in your tabernacle because in psalms 15 if i i may paraphrase it it asks a question who may i dwell in your tabernacle mm-hmm. are those who walk blamelessly mm-hmm. are they those who who stank don't hurt us lander are they those who who don't go to the ways of wicked who may who may who may abide in your tabernacle who who are these people yeah be, 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 because uh, the, the, the answer yes is given in, in the psalmist but mm-hmm. who are these people who may who may who may abide in your tabernacle because we we, we are we are spoken about uh, the the sanctuary raising mm-hmm. up our hands and and the communal worship mm-hmm. then again there there's something that again we should not uh, let's let's say uh, we should not forget about mm-hmm. that there are conditions of <laughs> abiding in, in the tabernacle the of tabernacle. god yeah. and in the assembly in the assembly of worship i think there was an element of consecration mm-hmm. when you go back to the sanctuary mm-hmm. everything in the sanctuary including the priest himself mm-hmm. was 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 consecrated mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but now there is an interesting note that was uh, we, we have talked a lot about music mm-hmm. <laughs> that vocabulary has just chipped in yeah. uh, but there is an aspect that after christ everyone became a priest mm-hmm. You know it was no longer now mm. a representative we are now a royal priesthood mm-hmm. everyone is now a priest mm-hmm. and therefore for us to come in the house of the lord mm. we must be consecrated mm-hmm. uh there is an element of perfection perfection huh? and david uh, david says i think we can just read uh, Psalms chapter 15 mm-hmm. uh Psalms chapter 15 it it talks it 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 doesn't so much talks about us and in favor from the lord mm-hmm. because that already happened mm-hmm. uh god loved us 
from the very foundation of the world mm-hmm. and he gave his only begotten son that if we believe, believe. Mm-hmm. so the only the thing that we need to do mm-hmm. the perfection that we are talking about is a perf- perfect belief in Christ mm-hmm. it's it's a firm hold amen like amen. like david like jacob he fought with the angel a firm until you are blessed mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. it is it is that perfection of 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 relationship mm-hmm. that we need to have with Christ daily wrestling with 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 Christ uh-huh. and 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 daily forsaking evil mm-hmm. uh some chapter 15 mm-hmm. some chapter 15 reading from the new king james version mm-hmm. uh, and the question is asked lord who may abide in your tabernacle mm-hmm. who may dwell in your holy hill mm-hmm. and it says he who walks uprightly mm-hmm. you remember the word is walks walks mm-hmm. so it is you know it's 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 a journey it's a journey mm. uh-huh. and works righteousness mm-hmm. yeah and speaks the truth in his heart mm-hmm. in his heart yeah mm. he who does not now now this is where now i think the now david becomes clear mm. and so it is it is being careful mm-hmm. if i think that is the the, the word that will put it, put it very clearly mm. it is being careful not to sin mm-hmm. It, there has to be that intention that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in my heart mm-hmm. david says in my heart have i desired to keep your law mm-hmm. and david was described by the man who was after god's own heart mm-hmm. not that he didn't fall mm-hmm. but he daily endeavored mm-hmm. to make sure that he mm-hmm. kept god's law mm-hmm. he hid the law of god in his heart mm-hmm. that he may not sin against the lord mm-hmm. that does not backbite with mm-hmm. his tongue mm-hmm. does no evil mm-hmm. to his neighbor mm-hmm. So there is a lot of not 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 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, in whose eyes um, in whose eyes a vile person is despised mm-hmm. but he who honors mm-hmm. and who fears the Lord in fact in in some sources of chapter 96 mm-hmm. David also says does a lot of um, emphasis on I will not associate mm-hmm. with somebody who despises mm-hmm. I will resist the proud mm-hmm. my servants will not be like this mm-hmm. he makes sure that even the people who surround themselves are people who have desired in their hearts mm-hmm. to serve the lord mm-hmm. and i think that is the kind of personality mm. that that is that is or the kind of character mm-hmm. that is accommodated in the tabernacle of god amen mm-hmm. amen those who desire a total to, submission uh, to serve the god and a total submission mm-hmm. and the psalms 102 101 verses 21 sees i think it's 2 or 21 two <laughs> says i will be careful to lead a blameless life amen and what does it mean now to to lead a blameless life and to be holy because we, we we've mm. learned that uh, those who are worthy to worship him god are those who desire to 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 have a communion with god those who 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 walk bl- blamelessly who walk and i i think we can, we can go back and read verse 2 says he whose walk is blameless and who does what is righteous who speaks the truth from his heart and does no slander on his tongue eh mm. He who does who, who does his neighbor no wrong and cast no slur on his fellow man mm. and we, if you go down you read about more of the qualities co- co- that uh, the, the psalmist is highlighting and there mm. comes a question now what does it mean to be holy what does it mean now to be upright because we, we we have learned that to abide in the tabernacle of the lord we have to be upright mm. and to be blameless now what does it mean to to be be upright and blameless It's it's simply to acknowledge God to keep God's laws in your heart mm-hmm. because Psalm 15 tells us what to avoid so that we can achieve this uh, perfect life mm-hmm. and perfectness is is purity also mm-hmm. when Jesus was with his disciples mm-hmm. he constantly reminded them of the commandments of God mm-hmm. yeah so if we constantly keep the commandments of God in our hearts mm-hmm. then we will strive mm-hmm. to achieve or rather to do what some 15 is telling us mm-hmm. to do not do this that don't do this mm-hmm. rather it, it does not tell us mm-hmm. do this mm-hmm. but it tells us avoid doing this mm-hmm. because if you avoid doing this mm-hmm. then the other Mm-hmm. is right and it will lead to mm-hmm. an upright mm-hmm. life mm-hmm. so it's it's a constant renewal with Christ asking for forgiveness mm-hmm. and uh truly repenting because w- when you yes you you will go wrong yes but god forgives mm-hmm. and he forgives when you only repent and true repentance means that uh you completely abstain from whatever sin mm-hmm. you've been doing mm-hmm. and now you fix your eyes on Jesus walk 
within his laws mm-hmm. yeah then you will achieve an upright life amen amen walk within his laws and you will achieve an upright right mm-hmm. and uh, there's something that uh, is being depicted there of of being careful and and paul i i, I really i i hope i hope one of the viewers can drop it on the chat mm-hmm. um uh, paul says mm-hmm. Avoiding all appearance, appearance of, of mm-hmm. evil, Amen. appearance of evil, mm. uh, and and I think that that is what David, that mm. is what David was also communicating. Yeah, mm. Perfect heart, having yeah. a perfect and a pure heart, mm. a heart of integrity, a heart that seeks God, a heart that is restored by God's uh, forgiveness. A bl- in general, it's a blameless less life, mm. yeah. and uh, I pray that uh, the Lord may give us strength to be careful. Mm. Yeah, underscore the word careful. <laughs> mm-hmm. Be careful and lead a life which is upright. Declare his glory among the nations. Declaration is now made of the glory of God among the nations. Mm. And this is another element of of, of worship that we, we we are we are going to get from Psalms 96. Because Psalms 96 uh, verse 1 says he sings to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise His name, proclaim His salvation day after day, declare His glory among the nations in marvelous deeds among all the people. I, so, what what aspect of of of, of worship is being mentioned here? Where well, the psalmist is saying in verse uh, uh, verse three that declares glory among the nation, his marvelous deed among all all his people. Verse four goes on to say that for great is the Lord and most worthy of praise, he is he is to be feared above all gods. Mm-hmm. 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 So what 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 aspect of worship uh, is being mentioned in, in Psalms ninety six in a nutshell? simply evangelism mm-hmm. the great commission going out and mm-hmm. telling to the world mm-hmm. who god is uh-huh. telling his goodness uh-huh. declaring uh-huh. his goodness to all nations to all people mm-hmm. such as uh, when we read uh, the first angel's message mm-hmm. that it will be it will be to unto nation mm-hmm. to every people mm-hmm. of every race mm-hmm. to every person mm-hmm. so uh, what the psalmist is is really another uh, variety um sorry it's a different kind of worship mm-hmm. than what mm-hmm. you are used to mm-hmm. of giving sacrifice of prayer mm-hmm. of song mm-hmm. but this one in psalm 96:3 mm-hmm. it's of a declaration mm-hmm. to all my bible says that declare his glory among the heathen mm-hmm. his wonders among all people so it's simply a message of evangelism It's a worship of uh, evangelism, mm. declaring his goodness to mm. all people. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, because we get that the worship uh, again comes from uh, inward recognition that uh, the Lord is who he is. Mm. Mm. And that is the creator, king and judge. Mm. So then if worship springs from inward mm-hmm. rec- recognition that the Lord is who he is, mm. then as a Christian, and the two our viewers love mm-hmm. how, how can hi i i now come to recognize that the lord is who he is and come to embrace this fact as i go again to evangelize and uh, declare his glory among all nations mm-hmm. yeah because we are learning that evangelism ev- evangelism is a dimension of worship which is being proclaimed in psalms 96 mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. uh I think it also comes very it it becomes quite related with the three angels message mm-hmm. uh that uh, there is an element of worship which mm-hmm. we have we have talked about mm-hmm. uh there is an element of the coming judgment mm-hmm. there is an element of salvation amen mm-hmm. which is the everlasting gospel mm-hmm. and creation as you have also p- painted it so mm-hmm. um it has to start with first of all awareness mm-hmm. of yourself mm-hmm that I am a created being mm-hmm. of a god who is in heaven mm-hmm. um and you realize that you cannot talk about salvation mm-hmm. before you first of all accept creation mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's where the devil really loves when you talk about these stories of evolution mm-hmm. what have you because once he has attacked creation mm-hmm. then all other aspects of truth mm-hmm. crumble mm-hmm. um and so um for 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 uh 
the aspect that is painted in the three angels message is that first of all mm-hmm. you you uh, accept mm-hmm. that you are now saved in Christ mm-hmm. yes there is an awareness that i am a created being i'm mm-hmm. fallen mm-hmm. and i have certain limitations mm-hmm. and then christ is introduced in the picture mm-hmm. and now you have this salvation that you have mm-hmm. accepted after that there is an excitement mm-hmm. that you get mm-hmm. i think right now about the blind bartimaeus mm-hmm. he was made free mm-hmm. and immediately uh, he went to the pharisees they asking him and he says i don't know about that man But i, I know. don't know anything now i see <laughs> the only thing i know i yes, see the man the, man. the, the deno- demoniac mm-hmm. he he immediately mm-hmm. he became an evangelist mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yes he worshiped god immediately he thanked mm-hmm. god but now uh, and he asked can i be your de- can i be your follower mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you remember the verse that you mentioned when you were starting mm. what shall i render mm-hmm. what shall i do what shall i do you know proclaim this glory mm. extend the invitation to other people mm. Mm. um after worshiping extend this invitation to other people mm-hmm. uh the the man who had been paralyzed mm-hmm. uh for 38 years mm. christ tells him walk, um wake up pick your mat and walk mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was not supposed to again sit there. Mm. Mm. He was supposed to now walk mm. and manifest this glory to the people. Mm. Show that the Lord has blessed you. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, people come and ask you as Christians, we should be testifying of Malachi mm. chapter 3 mm. verse 7 to 8 mm. that why are you rich? Mm-hmm. It is because I return my tithe and offering. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is evangelism. Evangelism. Why are you why are you so healthy? Mm-hmm. It is because I keep the health message. Mm-hmm. Uh why are you so peaceful it's because i keep the sabbath i rest mm-hmm. one day mm-hmm. a week mm-hmm. so people as we worship the lord in spirit and in truth as the woman of the oil was 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 told mm-hmm. as we keep the commandments of god mm-hmm. people are supposed to start seeing mm-hmm. a special kind of light coming mm-hmm. from you and as they see this mm-hmm. you are supposed to draw them mm-hmm. to christ yeah. mm-hmm. i think that is the basis Mm-hmm. of worship as as is been painted in Psalms chapter 96 amen amen yeah. declaring declaring the good deeds that uh, you, you the lord has done to you thank you brother for that you, you know as as i st- stated uh, previously worship worship brings from the inward recognition of who god is mm-hmm. and uh, the god is the creator king and judge mm-hmm. worship also involves remembering god's past action mm-hmm. by this creation yeah. mm-hmm. the most important thing celebrating is present wonders that is sustainability the sustaining of world and this present reigning and anticipating is the future deeds the end judgment which mm. is a, a a good thing to the christians mm. and the new life and new heavens and earth so mm. all these things when they come in worship then worship is a beautiful thing mm. and worship is something that enlightens the the heart mm. you know Amen. now when god does not delight in sacrifices aha interesting when god does not write in sacrifices like like the prophet the psalmist decree various muses of worship now i'm going to speak about the muses of worship and the main point in these verses now there's a psalm 46 to 8 which we are going to consider and psalms 51 16 to 19 and the main point of these verses that i have stated is that mm. the lord It's not the Lord's aversion to Israel sacrifices and festivals but the reasons for such uh, fatal distance between worship and spirituality. Mm. So when there's a there's a the, the discord that you were saying about earlier when there's a, a distance between worship and spirituality then mm. God does not dis- de- delight in this this worship yeah. this sacrifice mm. let, let me use the word sacrifice mm. and what brings this discord? Mm the distance between worship and spirituality and why does the lord now not delight in this sacrifice that is pres- prescribed in the word mm. yeah be- be- because you know uh, if we don't speak about this then we we we, we may be lying to ourselves mm. because when there becomes a discord then there's a problem Mm. because highly we have seen the importance of worship mm. Mm. worship uh, it it's it, it's it's a form of evangelism how will we evangelize to others if we don't evangelize to us so i i see this so practical because uh, uh it helps us fast evangelize to ourselves mm. because we now 
take this worship today to the all nations and to the all world so why why what brings the discord i, I think by the way mm. um just on the on the previous day mm-hmm. on the previous theme that we have just discussed mm. uh you realize that evangelism is inevitable mm-hmm. because think about the dead sea mm. yeah mm. why is it dead because it does not have an outlet an outlet yeah and so if you just keep on receiving 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 mm. interesting just you mm. risk mm. being a dead sea a dead sea mm. yeah you you risk uh, losing it all together mm-hmm. if you in fact if you don't give mm-hmm. then you won't yeah, you won't you, you won't receive yeah. um and 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 now to uh, the element of sacrifice the element of sacrifice mm-hmm. and first of all um, who shall come to your tabernacle or what kind of sacrifice was brought to the lord mm-hmm. it was a sacrifice that was without blemish mm-hmm. it was a sacrifice that was perfect mm-hmm. and uh the woman at the well mm-hmm. uh, Christ looks at um, I think we can just go there uh, John chapter John. 4 yeah, John chapter 4 uh, John chapter 4 verse 32 just to get the story uh in fact it is expressly mm-hmm. it is expressly answered here by Christ himself mm-hmm. um and uh, it says yes um uh, let's 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 do from verse 21 mm-hmm. um Okay, was 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 18 to get the context. Mm. Uh the woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, you have uh, say, uh, you have well said, I have no husband. Was 18, for you have five husbands, and the one whom now you have mm-hmm. is not your husband. In that you spoke truly. And then the woman responds, I perceive you are a prophet. Our fathers worshiped on this mountain. Mm. You know? Mhm. She brings that aspect. Mm-hmm. And you Jews mm-hmm. say that in Jerusalem mm-hmm. is the place where one ought to worship. And so Christ answers the woman and says, "Believe me, mm-hmm. the hour is coming when you will neither uh, on this mountain mm-hmm. nor in uh, Jerusalem mm-hmm. worship the Father. Mm-hmm. You worship what you do not know." Mm-hmm. Yeah? You can be coming here every Sabbath and worship what you don't know. You don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You return your tithe mm-hmm. but you really don't have a relationship with mm-hmm. God. We know what we worship for salvation is for the Jews. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in two things. Mm-hmm. Spirit mm-hmm. and in truth. Mm-hmm. For the Father is seeking mm-hmm. such to worship him. Mm-hmm. Um and so uh, the Lord is interested in the intention mm-hmm. behind that sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Why have you decided to set aside one day? Mm-hmm. Is it because you just have a duty mm-hmm. in the church board and therefore uh-huh. if you don't come <laughs> people will question. Uh-huh. Uh are you uh returning the tithe because the treasurer might notice that mm-hmm. yeah I, I have not you, seen have not seen name. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Or are you dressing in a particular because of self respect? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know sometimes you can you can you can you can you can you can obey some commandments mm. not so much because you have the adoration for God but because, because you respect ob- yourself obligation mm-hmm. you are obligated to mm-hmm. the society mm-hmm. uh, you are a lawyer for example mm-hmm. and your code of conduct requires that you dress in a particular way mm-hmm. and therefore you are keeping the dress so reform to Sabbath. <laughs> but <laughs> it's not really because you really have mm-hmm. an adoration in your heart for mm-hmm. god mm-hmm. but because you respect yourself or mm-hmm. because there is a professional calling that has made you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. become somebody who mm-hmm. keeps the mm-hmm. the dress reform mm-hmm. and so this sacrifice mm-hmm. whether it is in returning tithe whether it is in your talent mm-hmm. whether it is in your time mm-hmm. the way you you choose to spend it mm-hmm. whether it is um whatever you choose to do mm-hmm. your heart mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. Uh, Christ tells his disciples mm-hmm. um that um men look at the outside mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. but i look at the heart mm-hmm. the cup can be clean outside but mm-hmm. I, i look at what is i, I look at what is inside mm-hmm. and so our prayer this sabbath i believe mm-hmm. is that um we need to invite the lord into our hearts mm-hmm. we need to allow the presence of the holy spirit into our hearts mm-hmm that our worship may not be an abomination to the lord mm-hmm. that it may ascend mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, we know uh, we have spoken about the sanctuary that our our the, that 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 incense mm-hmm. may ascend sweetly, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, to the throne of God without being an abomination. Amen. 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 Now, now I, I I I like the Christ's reply to the woman that the Father is seeking for those who will serve Him in spirit and truth. And truth. Now, men that, after God's own heart. Men after God's own heart. Yeah. Now that we have now identified the cause of the discord and the cause why God now doesn't delight to our sacrifices. Claire, how now can we remedy this? Because this is a warning that is already here. The psalmist has, has really pointed it out clearly from Psalms 46 to 8, Psalms 57 to 3, and also Psalms 51, 6, 16 to 19. Now how can we remedy this? I would simply say Mecca always right. Mm. Uh, I was mm-hmm. reading through Psalm 50, mm. uh, the, the whole of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, God did not accept. Uh, God was telling the Israelites that he was not going to uh, accept their burnt mm. offerings, their sacrifices, mm-hmm. because really everything belongs to him. Mm. Yeah, He's the giver mm-hmm. of all. Mm-hmm. Even the sacrifices that we give to him, even our time, he's the one who has granted us all those. So, and he does not, when Lamech says, what's really your motive? Mm-hmm. Yeah, why do you, What? what is really, what, what's your intention? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when he says, that a time will come when uh, you'll be required to worship God in truth and in mm-hmm. and in spirit. So God is the giver of all. Mm. Let's make our ways right so that our, our sacrifices are acceptable, are acceptable to Him, such that even our time that we give to Him is acceptable, mm. and in return we'll get blessings. God is the giver of all this, and mm. we cannot lie to God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, by just simply. Coming and giving because it's a ritual. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know how rituals are done. Mm-hmm. Just you come, give it. Uh, but really, God knows your heart mm-hmm. and yourself. You know that you are not. You have not made your ways right with God. Mm-hmm. So really, make your ways right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, revisit mm-hmm. your path, mm-hmm. and yeah, and God will accept our sacrifices in return. Yeah. Amen. 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 We revisit our heart, and he, because you know, merely knowing the truth, or it doesn't guarantee us that now we are so perfect. That's mm. why Psalms 15 uh, says that who may dwell in the sanctuary, mm. and verse two says, "He whose walk is blameless, mm. he whose walk not talk only, mm. but walk, mm. and walk means action." Feet that that is working, knowing God, and you you actually do what what what, what should be done. Um, I, I'm just uh, um, uh, just trying to to look at it really. Um, mm-hmm. Psalms chapter uh, Matthew chapter 18 will put it well. Mm-hmm. Matthew chapter 18 verse three. Mm-hmm. Uh, when the disciples were asking, "Who is the greatest in the kingdom of God?" Mm-hmm. and uh, Christ says. Assuredly, I say unto you, unless you are converted and become as mm. a little child, mm. uh, and uh, uh, as little children, mm-hmm. you will by no means enter the kingdom mm. of heaven. Um, and we are supposed to receive this faith like little children. Mm-hmm. You know, a child is helpless. Mm-hmm. A child cannot do anything by themselves. Even if they try, mm-hmm. they can't do anything by themselves. Mm-hmm. And you see, um, I just think of, uh, there is a, a preacher who says that it's like a child who takes a hammer, mm. tries to hammer it into a nail. Mm-hmm. And then the father watches and says, can I come and help you? And then the child insists, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I can do it. <laughs> and then he injures mm. one of the fingers. Mm-hmm. And then the father says, can, should I help you? Mm. And then, no, no, no. Continues, injures another finger and, mm-hmm. and starts crying. And and you no know, crawling on the ground and then, mm. and then he says just come and help me. Uh-huh. So the Father in heaven is waiting for you mm. to acknowledge and mm. to accept, you know, mm. uh, to answer into the question, mm. what shall we do now? Mm-hmm. Now that we have realized that God is no longer interested in the only sacrifice that the Lord is interested in is the sacrifice of your ego. <laughs> uh-huh, interesting, you know, mm-hmm. uh, because the uh, Christ says that if you, take up your cross mm-hmm. and follow me. Mm-hmm. What does your cross mean? Mm-hmm. You know? Mm. What was Christ's cross? What What was the symbol of, of Christ's cross? He left 
all the glory mm-hmm. in heaven mm-hmm. and come here he came here and became a man yeah, so there is an aspect of humility mm-hmm. there is an aspect of becoming helpless mm-hmm. then as an ele- an element of becoming like a sheep mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. a sheep they know the lo- they know the shepherd's voice mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they are humble and they follow the shepherd everywhere mm-hmm. he goes mm-hmm. there is an element of uh sacrificing our desire for you know there is there is some sense of pride that you get mm-hmm. you know i quit alcohol you know and you go and, and announce you know uh-huh. i'm a strong person mm. I, i killed a lion mm-hmm. uh, i managed to uh, to to uh, to avoid you know uh, st- uh, this corrupt deal mm-hmm. you say yeah you know it's because i have a st- you know I've, i've i'm such a farm guy mm-hmm. you know and christ is not praised is christ does not find a space mm-hmm. within that uh uh does not find space in that uh victory mm-hmm. that you have gained mm-hmm. but the encouragement that we are getting today here is that we have just been called to forget everything mm-hmm. and 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 realize that all merit mm-hmm. is because of Christ amen and we are just but little children mm-hmm. in the ha- in the hands of our caring father it's true it's true mm-hmm. if we rely on our acts then they are like a few filthy acts mm. as we are coming to an end uh, we will grind up with a, a psalm and say a psalm that uh, that you delight in because uh, we, we are we we, are, we have been reading the book of psalms and we are almost coming to an end <laughs> yeah. so in this sabbath mention a psalm to our viewer Uh, listener and and uh, I mean dear viewer sorry dear viewer uh, a psalm that uh, you have kept in your heart a psalm that helps you to worship God and praise God yeah and because for me it's Psalms verse 1 ah uh, you already mentioned that Psalms <laughs> verse 1 Psalms verse 1 so it's, uh, yeah. it's so it's so fascinating and yeah. and, and I, I I I keep it close to my heart because It says that blessed is a man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked amen or stand in the way of the sinners or sit in the seat of the mockers amen but to says but his delight is in the law of the lord mm. and on his his law he meditates day and night mm. amen amen mm. amen mm. because he, he delights the law the law he, in his law he delights he, it's not an obligation but when he mentioned you mentioned the law of god then it, The, the 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 heart the the, the heart the heart feels the joy mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. So, yeah yeah um i had actually two psalms mm-hmm. in mind mm-hmm. it was psalms chapter 1 and psalms chapter 23 you mm-hmm. know that you have already mentioned it, <laughs> oh, it comes of yes <laughs> that is psalms chapter 23 mm-hmm. uh, it's actually a, a wonderful benediction for us this sabbath morning mm-hmm. uh, that the lord is my shepherd mm-hmm. you know, we're talking about worship in the lord mm-hmm. I, i just tried to look for a psalm that is just within mm. uh, um just within the you know mm. worship that never ends amen uh if if we ever feel that it becomes a struggle mm. you know mm. if we ever um, he leads me beside still waters he restores he makes me lie down in green pastures mm. green pastures mm. it's never dry it's always green pastures mm. he restores my soul he leads me in paths of righteousness mm. for his name's sake amen. you know you fall in it is god's reputation that is on the line mm-hmm. it's god's name mm-hmm. that is on the line mm-hmm. um yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death as we will mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i will fear no evil mm-hmm. for you are with me so the encouragement if we are to continue worshiping the lord and if, and, and this experience is never going to end mm-hmm. we need to have the cause of christ always before us mm-hmm. we need to have uh, we need to develop a relationship with this the lord who is our shepherd mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and 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 the and the psalmist just puts it quite quite clearly mm. that he even prepares a table before me in the presence mm-hmm. of my enemies mm-hmm. and so let's uh in case it gets difficult mm. in case it it becomes a challenge mm. for you to keep the com- commandments of god mm. in case um the circumstances that we find ourselves in the valley of the shadow of death mm. become so fierce like mm. the three Hebrew boys they found themselves in the furnace mm. but the, the shepherd was also there mm. with them mm. within the furnace mm-hmm. in the lion's den mm. the lord was also there mm. 
Yeah, so let's 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 accept. Mm-hmm. Um, let's let's sing this psalm, mm-hmm. uh, this Sabbath, for He's going to be walking with us as we worship Him. He's going to hold, be holding our hands forever and ever. Amen, amen, brother. Amen. I was also to say Psalm 23, mm. but I also have another Psalm 40 mm-hmm. that teaches us to wait mm-hmm. upon the Lord. Mm-hmm. And verse two, most importantly, that says that He brought me out mm. of an horrible pit, mm-hmm. out of the miry clay, mm-hmm. and He set my feet upon a rock, mm-hmm. and He established He established my goings. It's a, it's my prayer for. the viewers mm. when today that wait upon the lord mm-hmm. he will set your feet on the rock to stay amen amen amen, amen. dear viewer i also hope that you will keep a psalm in your heart that will help you worship the lord because these psalms are sacred hymns for worship of mm-hmm. the lord and to worship him and also to adore him because it's a worship that never ends keep a new song in your heart because the the grace and the the, the good doings of god are new mm-hmm. day and day so as we come to an end Now we will offer a prayer. Yeah. Yeah, let's pray. Our Father that in heaven, we thank you for teaching us the Psalms today and we ask may the Psalms mm-hmm. stay in our hearts. We thank you for the good gift of the Sabbath that you granted unto us. We thank you for the gift of life. And this day, O oh heavenly Master, we ask that may you give us a new song in our hearts that will keep us going in our pilgrimage, O oh Lord God, on this earth as we sojourn, O oh Lord God, to meet you on that great day. Be with us now and forevermore for this I pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Uh, next week, we are closing the quarter. Hope to see you again. We... receive from the blessing from the psalmist you're going to study on the topic wait upon the lord see you next week